the coincidence authority. So amazing coincidences uh, happen to us all from time to time. We've all experienced them. And it's easy to imagine that they're part of the fabric of the universe. They're part of the universal plan for our lives. Perhaps proof that uh, everything that happens happens for a reason. And some people believe this. And as Elia Lewis in the book does believe this, she has lived a life that has been blighted by coincidence. And uh, when Azalea looks at her life, she sees a pattern of coincidences heading out into the future. And if she plans them forward, it seems to end in her own inevitable and untimely death. So Azalea consults Thomas Post. He's the coincidence authority. Thomas is a mathematician. He's a philosopher. He's a procrastinator. Thomas can explain every coincidence away. Uh, he can always disillusion you. Thomas lives in a world where he of, of dusty seminar rooms hunched over his computer working out the mathematics of chance. That's what he does. And what drew me to the story, I think, was wondering what would happen if these two extreme views of the universe were ever to meet. You know, could they get along? Could, could the yin and the yang, the rational and irrational, um, ever meet and, and maybe even fall in love? Um, when reviewers review the coincidence authority, they often mention the uh, scenes in Africa, and this was very important for me. Um, I had in my mind a mission school, a, an orphanage I visited as a, as a teenager right up in the north of Uganda, a very remote place of West Nile, close to the Sudanese and, uh, uh, and Congolese borders. And I've often wondered over the years what became of that, that orphanage and, and how it survived and how it, under, the, under the shadow of Joseph Kony and the Lord's Resistance Army. So I let Azalea in the book grow up there. And um, for me, that was the central part of the book. It was the heart of the book. Uh, and that was very much where Azalea's story would end up, for better or for worse. Uh, and that's it, really. It's a book about chance, life, death, uh, and, and all those good things. Mm -hmm.